Have you ever wondered about the top 10 magical places to visit in mainland Greece? Step into a world of enchantment and immerse yourself in the wonders that this ancient land has to offer. From mythical landscapes to historical marvels, let's embark on a journey through the most mesmerizing destinations that Greece has in store for you. Number 10. Castoria. The city of Castoria is located on the outskirts of western Macedonia and is of Greek origin. It is located in a valley that is surrounded by limestone mountains, and it is perched on a point that overlooks the western coast of Lake Orestiada. It serves as the administrative center of the Castoria Peripheral Unit. The Greek Orthodox Church holds a significant amount of significance inside the city, as it is the location of a metropolitan bishopric and an important religious center. It had 72 Byzantine and medieval churches at its peak, but currently only 54 remain intact. Some of these have been restored, and as a result, they provide an insight into the architectural style and fresco painting of Greek Orthodox churches. These spectacular rock formations can be found in the plain of Thessaly, which is in the northern part of Greece. This region is home to some of the most breathtaking scenery in the entire globe. These natural formations appear to be from another universe and may be found close to the town of Kalambaka, which is found in the valley formed by the Peneo River. Hermits were the first people to settle in this region. They came here in quest of a spiritually isolated environment and began to occupy the rock caves with the use of ropes and ladders. The monasteries of Meteora have been added to the UNESCO World Heritage List, and the region of Meteora Antikassia has been officially designated as an Atura 2000 Ecological Zone by the Greek Ministry of the Environment. These designations were made for the purpose of protecting endemic species of birds and flowers that are endangered. Number 7. Volas. In the middle of the Greek mainland, about 326 kilometers to the north of Athens and 215 kilometers to the south of Thessaloniki, is the city of Volas. It is the principal city of the administrative region known as Magnesia. After the devastating earthquakes that struck Greece in 1955, the city of Volos emerged as the most sophisticated and technologically advanced of all the port cities in Greece. It includes the smaller suburban settlements of Volos, Ennea Ionia, and Ialkos in addition to the municipal units of those cities. The Athanasikis Archaeological Museum, which is one of the oldest museums in Greece, and the Panthesilico Stadium, which was the location of several of the events that took place during the Olympic Games hosted in Athens in 2004, are two of the most interesting places to visit in the area. Number 6. Ioannina. Ioannina is a city located in northwestern Greece. It serves as the capital of the Ioannina Regional Unit and is situated near the eastern shore of Lake Pambodida. Historically, Ioannina has been an important city in the region, with a rich and diverse cultural heritage. It was known as a major center of learning and culture during the Byzantine and Ottoman periods. One of the most notable landmarks in Ioannina is the Ioannina Castle, also known as the Castle of Lithuritsia. It is an impressive fortress that overlooks the city and the lake. Within the castle, you can find the Fethi Mosque, which dates back to the Ottoman era, and the Byzantine Museum, housing various artifacts and exhibits from the city's history. The region surrounding Ioannina is characterized by its natural beauty, with the nearby Vikos Gorge being one of the deepest gorges in the world. It offers opportunities for outdoor activities such as hiking and exploring stunning landscapes. Number 5. Mani Peninsula. The Mani Peninsula is a physical and cultural region in southern Greece that is home to the Maniots who assert that they are descendants of the ancient Spartans. The region's topography is predominantly mountainous, making it difficult to travel across. Many of the communities in Mani could only be accessed by boat until quite recently. However, there is now a road that provides access to the area. The beach towns of Mani are teeming with cafes and boutiques. In addition to its scenery, beaches, and landscape features, the peninsula is known for its Byzantine churches and Frankish castles. During the summer months, Calabria and Stupa Harbor beaches are among the most frequented beaches on the island. Cardamili and Agios Nikolaos both feature beautiful pebble and sandy beaches as well. 
Monumbasia is a walled medieval town in the same region that is noted for being one of the most famous historic cities in Greece. It is considered to be one of the most important destinations in the area. The picturesque stronghold looks out over the Bay of Palaya and has charming meandering alleyways that are only accessible on foot or by donkey. It is only possible to travel within the fortress. Number 4. Thessaloniki Thessaloniki is the second largest city in Greece and a significant port located on the Thermaic Gulf in the North Aegean Sea. It is exceptionally rich in artifacts from its Roman, Byzantine, and Ottoman periods, particularly in the area around Anopoli, the upper city. Thessaloniki is a very well-liked location for travelers throughout all of Greece. The city's lengthy and varied past has resulted in the establishment of a large number of museums that focus on various time periods throughout history. Both the Archaeological Museum of Thessaloniki and the Museum of Byzantine Culture are considered to be among the most renowned museums in the city. The city has long been recognized throughout Greece for its thriving urban culture, which is comprised of the highest number of coffee shops and bars per capita of any city in Europe and for having the best nightlife and entertainment in the country as a result of its huge young population and multicultural atmosphere. Number 3. Mount Olympus. Between the regions of Thessaly and Macedonia in Greece is Mount Olympus. Since 1938, it has been a nature reserve in Greece, and since 1981, it has been a natural heritage site of the European Union in the form of a biosphere reserve. Visitors by the tens of thousands come to the area each year to observe the wildlife and vegetation, hike the terrain, and summit the mountains. Adventurers have access to a variety of mountain climbing routes, as well as organized mountain cabins to stay in while they climb. The hamlet of Lidokoro, located in the eastern foothills of Mount Olympus and around 100 kilometers away from Thessaloniki, is where most people begin their ascent of the peak. Olympus, in Greek mythology, was the mountain that served as the abode of the Olympian gods. The ancient Greeks held the belief that the gods lived in houses made of glass atop the peaks of certain mountains. Number 2. Archaeological Site of Ancient Olympia Olympia is a tiny town located in Elis on the Peloponnese Peninsula in Greece. It is famous for the archaeological site of the same name, which dates back to ancient times and was the site of an important sanctuary as well as the location of the Olympic Games. The location once housed more than 70 significant structures, and the remains of a good number of them are still there today. The Pelopian, which is the tomb of Pelops, the legendary ancestor of Agamemnon, who was the commander of the Greek army during the Trojan War, is a site that attracts a lot of attention. Those who go to ancient Olympia will also find that the stadium is a place that is of particular importance to them. At the beginning of the games, the athletes passed under an archway that led into a dome-covered tunnel. The steeper sides of the field were where the majority of spectators chose to take their seats. The length of this field eventually evolved into the standard stadium, an ancient Greek unit of distance that can be found in all different types of geography. Number 1. Athens. Athens, the capital of Greece and the largest city in the country is without a doubt one of the most well-known attractions, so it is the perfect place to begin this must-see list. Athens has a history that extends over 3,000 years, making it one of the oldest inhabited cities in the world. The growth of marine navigation at the port of Piraeus during the classical period of Greek history resulted in the birth of a great city-state that flourished throughout that time. During that time, Piraeus was known as Athens. It was an essential contributor to the growth of democracy throughout history. It was also a cultural center where many of the ancient world's greatest artists, writers, and thinkers made their homes. These contributions that Athens made to the philosophy of the time had a significant impact on the development of culture not just in Greece and Rome but also in the rest of the Western world. Athens is a city that is abundant in archaeology that is of exceptional significance, the most well-known of which is the Parthenon which is located on the Acropolis. In addition to buildings from the ancient Greek period, monuments from the Roman and Byzantine periods as well as some important buildings from more recent times have been preserved. 